All right, guys. So working on night owl this evening. Wanted to uh, get it wired up just to hear it run and make sure the engine is solid. Um, so, anyways, it's in the car. The engine's in the car, but uh, it's not wired up properly. Obviously, you can see my fuel pump over there. You can see a few switches over here. Um, you know, fuel line going all over the place. So it's just temporary, just enough so I can get it started. Okay. This will represent as if you were to do uh, a bench mount um, engine start, okay? Obviously it's in the car, but uh, it's the same principle. So basically with uh, this, you're gonna need a battery. You're gonna need a positive lead coming off the battery. You're gonna need it going to the starter coil, okay? From there you're going to come back to the battery you're going to connect a negative lead and you're going to connect it to some sort of uh grounding bolt in this case i used the shock tower but if you were to do a bench mount you're going to want to mount it to the transmission obviously on a bench mount you're going to need the transmission mounted up to the engine so you can start uh, the engine so you can actually turn your flywheel um, so that being said let's come back to uh, the other wiring I have coming off this battery. I have a positive lead coming off the battery going up to my starter uh, button, push button, okay? Uh, in your car, if you were to finish wiring this, obviously this would be your key, okay? And then from there, it's gonna go down to the starter. And what that does is it triggers the starter switch, the solenoid, so you can put power to the actual starter. Okay, so from there, let's go back to the battery. I have another power lead that's coming up to this switch. This switch is uh, the switch for the coil, the switch for uh, my fuel pump, and the switch for the carburetor choke, okay? This would be wired up to your auxiliary uh, uh, switch on your key, okay? Uh, I only have it here because I want to be able to shut everything off um, and control the, the engine uh, with that and the push button, okay? So, from there, you're going to need power coming off that switch, going over to your coil, okay? Um, I went ahead and ran power to the coil, took power off of that and ran it to... Uh, as you can see, here's the power coming up to my fuel pump and also power going to my choke, okay? Um, so, you need all that. You're gonna obviously going to need it grounded out to something. Uh, on the negative side, you need to ground it out to the frame or again, ground it out to the engine. Um, obviously, if you ground out your transmission like uh, I showed you a few minutes ago, uh, this will work as a ground or go back to the battery. But in my case, I went to the frame, came across to this frame bolt, and then down to the battery, okay? Um, so I have a uh, electronic distributor that I'm still gonna have to do timing on and uh, adjustment. It's in the general location, but that's kind of why I want to do this uh, bench mount start and also to see if everything's running smoothly in there because uh, this engine actually has been freshened up with a 1641 uh, piston kit I also put um, high compression heads on it um, they have a double wall or excuse me double springs in there I also put uh, one uh, 0.25 rockers in there um, so and then also chromoly uh, push rods. So that's kind of why I want to uh, get this thing started and kind of get some things moving around and make sure the engine's uh, good to continue with, okay? So right now, you can see that I have a fuel pump. You're obviously gonna need a filter on it. Filter out the garbage out of uh, today's gasoline. And then you just stick it in there. This is a self-priming fuel pump. It's an Edelbrock fuel pump. Obviously, you're gonna need uh, two 
to three and a half uh, PSI. Uh, most carburetors uh, like three PSI. So I'm gonna put a gauge on this to see what, what it's running. I may put a uh, regulator on it, but if it's running somewhere in between two and three, I might not need a regulator. So we'll see. And that's kind of why I want to do this bench mount uh, startup, okay? So uh, you'll need power to your choke, okay? And then uh, you can go ahead and get it started. So right now, it's uh, 11 o'clock at night, so I don't really want to wake the neighbors or, uh, or uh, wake the family. So I'm not gonna start it up, um, but I can show you that it does indeed turn the engine, okay? It wants to start obviously but it does not have fuel so I'm gonna go and do that a few times just to get oil moving through the case um, making sure the pistons are lubed making sure uh, the pistons do move and they're not seized in there or you know the the rockers are actually adjusted properly and they're not gonna uh, seize in there or knock uh, and then I will go ahead and uh, Test this on like a Saturday or something. Stick this uh, hose in my the fuel tank that I have here and uh, start it over uh, or turn it over. But that's pretty much what you need to do to bench mount uh, your engine. Um, so, anyways, thanks for joining me on the night owl, uh, night owl tonight, and uh, we'll uh, keep you updated.